Hello everyone, welcome to Ali's Hack Gaming Time. Now today we've got some really good news about Battlefront 2. Some good news that we have needed for quite a while. Considering that we're feeling that the month of general grievous is just, well, doesn't feel like it. And also today we are proving people wrong, including game changers themselves. Here's the intro. Alright, so I'm going to read this off from the Battlefront 2 website, so, uh, go away. Announcing the Clone Wars voice actors making a return in Battlefront 2. Okay, so attention Clone Wars fans, some familiar voices are returning to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Below we are revealing who's portraying General Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Count Dooku, Anakin Skywalker and As our new Clone Wars heroes and villains join the game starting this month. Plus, look for okay, that's something else that I don't care about. Okay, Matthew Wood, General Grievous, releasing October 30th. Matthew Wood, voice General Grievous, original appearance is Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars animated series. He also did the creative post-processing of his character's voice. Matthew has been working with Lucasfilm since the age of 17 R, and is, when he is not voice acting, um, surprisingly sound editor at Skywalker Sound, the sound the sound deficient of Lucasfilm. Now he is reprising his role as Grievous in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So if you look at Matthew Wood's um, IMDb page, then you will already know this. Okay, so I think this is from Matthew Wood himself. I always love revisiting characters from the Clone Wars era because I feel like there are so many stories to be told and now we have the ability to actually set foot in General Grievous' shoes and see how he operates in world life. That's really exciting to me to be able to portray the character in such a way. I'm a gamer myself so I can't wait to see how all of this pans out with what the team has created. We'll talk a bit about more of him at the end of this episode. James Arnold Taylor, Obi-Wan Kenobi, releasing in November. All of the actors portraying Obi-Wan Kenobi, James Arnold Taylor has played him the longest most noticeably throughout the animated Clone Wars series. In November, he's bringing his version of Obi-Wan Kenobi to Battlefront 2. Okay, quote. It is probably the greatest honour for me as an actor to have gotten to play this character for so many years. And I'm in so many... Um, I conditions. The television show, video games, toys and a movie. It's one of these punch me moments in my life because I still kind of wake up some days and I go, oh, I got to be General Grievous and it's fantastic. Okay, Connor Bolton, sorry, uh, Count Dooku releasing in January. Connor Bolton has done a wide variety of work in his, in his long voice acting career. He has played Count Dooku in the Clone Wars TV animated series, capturing the something and arrogant Sith Lord as the original delivered by Christopher Lee in Star Wars Episode 3 Attack of the Clones. Stepping into the world again is a pleasure for not gonna sorry. It's always a joy to slip into the Sith Cape. It's been a delight from the very start. I love playing these sort of evil, witty mastermind kind of characters where their strength is a quality uh, quite sorry 
intense demo and with her then throwing thunderbolts and hovering. <laughs> it's sort of a very stubborn and it draws you in instead of blasting out the performance. Sorry for my reading. Um, okay, last one. Matt Lanter, Anakin Skywalker, releasing in February, the one that seems to be most people are excited about than anyone else. Similar to James Arnold Taylor and his Obi-Wan Kenobi, Matt Lanter has portrayed Anakin Skywalker throughout the Clone Wars animated series. His portrayal of Anakin is a fan favourite as the character is completely explored in depth in the series. Matt is excited to bring his performance to Battlefront 2. I'm a gamer. I played Star Wars. I played the first Star Wars Battlefront often. Not, not really lately. I've got a baby at home and she's nine months. So I haven't had a. I haven't had a while. Lot of gaming time recently, but before that, Battlefront is in my game. I grew up playing the first first person shooters, and I love Star Wars. You know, I perform Star Wars, but I'm also a huge fan. A mix of of the both is my perfect game. To be able to be a part of it is pretty incredible. So. That's that. Okay, so I've been reading this transmission so far, and the focus feedback and media actors is kind of like um, them talking about the process of all of this and making the lines and doing all the work that's necessary to bring these heroes together with the voice actors, etc. Now I'm not going to read the characters again because this is basically this is another way of this is how the community managers work. This is different to how. Um, on the Battlefront 2 site, it's different to how they worked it, so I'm not going to um, uh, read it again, but I will read the final outcome. Okay. One last thing, while we're all here, we thought it would be a good time to give you a sneak peek of some of the voice actor lines that you can expect to hear for General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi. He also says on Twitter that these are the limited um, voice lines that they've got for the characters, but there are many, many more. So to be honest, in a whole, all of this is fantastic news. I think the Battlefront community should be very happy to see this. And now hopefully after this, we can now focus on General Grievous much, much more. Which, again, I don't want to talk about in this episode. I want to talk about that next week. But finally, the people accusing Quinn Knight of clickbaiting back when he said of a story that a fan went to this convention and asked Matthew Woods if he would be voice acting General Grievous and he said some other people were and then James Arnold Taylor said he were not and then Ben what kind of talks about it but did not lean on to that. I just want to say this to you. I just want to say that that Game changer or not, today was the day that we proved you wrong. We did. Am I defending Quinn Knight? <laughs> I'm sure I am. There are many things that I disagree upon what Quinn Knight says, but with this type of stuff, it's just fucking annoying. It is. Because to be honest, <laughs> you're wrong now. Today is the day that we proved you wrong. That these voice actors are will. I don't expect an apology from Battlefront updates or any of the fans whatsoever. Oh no, 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 no. I just want you to know that that story, no matter to be true or not, the fact that someone asked Matthew Wood. That he, if he would be voicing Grievous and then replying with yes, we've still got some stuff to do, that bit is true. Matthew Wood is voicing General Grievous, James Arnold Taylor is voicing Obi Wan Kenobi, and I can go on for days from it. So I just want you to know that as we move forward, 
I'm hoping there will be more things that we can prove wrong to you, Best Friend Updates, because even though you're supposed to be one of the game changers, I feel like game changers are the ones that bring the drama and the negativity more to the Best Friend 2 community. And then, when you live stream, well, that's a whole different story, that is. But again, that's all I want to say because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything that much for one of my uh, bigger projects. If you want to know about that, then ask me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's hope we can have more good news with Battlefront 2 as we are moving forward. Now, where's that trailer for Grievous?